In this video, we are going to practice graphing two hyperbolas. Uh, both of these are going to be centered around the origin. Uh, if you look at both of the equations, none of them have pluses or minuses in here, and so that's what's going to shift your center. And you don't have that on this one, and you don't have that on this one. But if you notice, the graphing has a very similar look to an ellipse. You just don't have a plus on here, but it does equal 1. This is your a value, or this is your a squared value. So that means your a value is going to be 5 because this is a squared, so you'll square root to get this. So that's going to be your left and right from the center. Uh, your b value is going to be 3. That is your up and down from it. Um, so also this graph is horizontal. The reason that it's horizontal is because it's x squared minus y squared versus the second one is going to be y squared minus x squared, so this one's going to be vertical. So this hyperbola is going to look like that. Um, versus this one being vertical. So our graph is going to look like that and like that. All right, so let's put all our pieces together. So um, on this one, we're going to... Um, our center is at 0, 0. All right. Um, and our vertices, we don't know. Let's put all the graph together. Our a value is 5 because a squared is 25. So from here, we're going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. We're going to go up and down 3, 1, 2, 3. And... But it, it's not an ellipse, so this means that we are building a box because that box helps us line up our asymptotes. Okay, so we have asymptotes like that and like that. All right, so since our graph is horizontal, our vertices are going to be here. So our graph is going to be hug the asymptote, hit the vertice, hug the asymptote. Asymptote, vertice, asymptote. So that's a vertice, that's a vertice. So our vertices are at negative 5, 0, and 5, 0. Um, to figure out our focal points, they're going to be out here somewhere. Um, and so that's going to come from our c squared is going to be our a squared plus b squared. So we're going to sum up the uh, denominators. So our c squared is going to be 25 plus 9, which is 34. So our c is going to be the square root of 34. All right, so, um, and which is approximately 5.8. Now, my focal points need to be exact. So we're going to go from the center out, technically the square root of 34. So as far as coordinates go, they're going to be square root of 34, 0, which will be this one. Now, I don't really know how far the square root of 38 or 34 is. It's about 6. So I plugged in the calculator. I got a 5.8. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5.8. So not quite 6. And then my other one is in this other direction which that value is negative square root of 34, 0. And then the last piece is I need the equations of my asymptotes. Now, good news is it passes through the origin, so it's just a um, y equals mx. It's not a plus b because your b is 0. So then this is just a y equals. And actually, I have my slope right here on my graph. So it's up 1, 2, 3, over 5. So that's one asymptote. The other asymptote is going down, so it's going down 3 over 5. So y equals negative 3 fifths x. All right, and that's everything on that one. So let's go to the second one. Second one is uh, my a value, or my b value, because it's one of the y's, is going to be 3. My a value is going to be 5. Um, so as far as the box and everything, it's actually going to be identical to this thing. Because our center, we don't have any pluses and minuses. It's going to be at 0, 0. 
Our graph is going to go 5 to the right. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 5 to the left. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 3 up. 3 down. We build a rectangle around that. Build a box. So line up my asymptotes. Okay. Um, this time, though, because we have a y squared minus an x squared, our graph is vertical, so we'll be going up and down. So it's going to be a little bit wider. Breaks off, hits the vertice. Breaks off, hits the vertice. So that graph, and then that graph. Okay, so I'll make the vertices a little bit more prominent. So our vertices are going to be 0, 3, 0, negative 3. And then uh, our focal points, it's going to be the same exact math. The denominators are identical, but it's going to be um, 9 plus 25, our denominators. So that's going to be, again, a 34. So C is the square root of 34 which is approximately 5.8. So since they're wider, your focal points end up having to be a little bit further out. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, so almost 6. And then 3, 4, 5, 6, so almost here. So that's where your focal points are. And again, that's a reflective property that it hits that and reflects to the focal point. And your focal, the coordinates to them are 0 square root of 34, that's going up, and then 0 negative square root of 34, that one's going down. All right, and then asymptotes, again, I pretty much have everything I need. It's just a y equals mx because your y-intercept's at 0, and it's an up 3 over 5, 3 fifths x, and then your second one is the same thing, but it's going down. So it's a negative three-fifths x. All right, so um, that was two different hyperbolas that actually had similar characteristics because you had similar denominators on both of them. Um, the y values had 9 underneath it, so you were going up and down 3. The x's had 25 underneath them, so you were going up and down 5. So the boxes looked the same, but x squared minus the y squared made it horizontal. y squared minus the x squared makes it vertical. So then your focal points end up being on kind of a horizontal plane versus a vertical plane. All right, so that was the first two, and then the next one we'll have to complete the square, and our center is not going to be at zero, zero.